Yo, 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 what is up? What is happening? Welcome back to another episode of Those Car Dudes where I'm going to the Nürburgring. I'm here with Carlo. How you doing? <laughs> nice to uh, have you. And he is from uh, Dutch Ring Racing. And you can check out his YouTube channel, it's in the description. And we are on our way to the Nürburgring. He's very kindly offered to take me in one of his cars on the track for the weekend. So we're gonna be staying there, doing some track time. And I'm gonna be learning a lot about what actually happens at the Nürburgring and at the track. side of the track. Oh, this is cool. Look, that's the Nurburgring. ring! Yes! What the heck? Come here! I honestly can't believe I'm here. This is incredible. This is, uh, <laughs> what? Carlo, I think you should explain why you drive a Prius around the street. No, oh, excuse me for still eating, but... Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's my third already. Third. It's a funny story. Um, I used to drive a lot of BMWs uh, as, a, as a daily. And when I met my now wife, she was driving a Toyota Prius. Whenever you went out for a trip on the town with uh, some of the cars, the kids are, are, were always arguing, oh, we're gonna drive with Sophia's car. <laughs> because her car was comfortable, nice, softly damped, easy in traffic jams. So my BMW was left out on the, on the driveway and we went every time with Sophia's car. And a few years later, the new version arrived and that was the version which I liked also. So. And in Holland, you don't pay taxes for a Toyota Prius. Oh wow. At all. So what I save with this car, I can drive on the track two times a month. Keeps you out of trouble too. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, so anyone that's hating on Carlo for driving a Toyota Prius, that's the reason. I'm a smart guy. <laughs> Nuremberg. Everything is race, race, or race. <laughs> Nothing else. I like the sound of that. And, uh, a lot of my buddies work there, RSI, you can rent cars there. Never rent a rear real drive car if you are a first time in here. Go for uh, Suzuki Swift or a Ford Fiesta, something like that. Low power car, you will have your hands full. I can trust you there. This is the compression there. I will, we will hit 240, 250 kilometers an hour there. It's going wow. downhill, yeah. And that's just within a kilometer of the start. <laughs> <laughs> we can uh, do a drive-by at the BMW M test center. Oh. oh wow! <laughs> Castle there, and this is our hotel. We just got to our room, put our stuff down and uh, we are hoping to get a little bit of track time tonight before the track closes. Oh, this is exciting. That's a hotel. That is the BMW testing factory right there. And there's a big castle all the way out there. And the Nürburgring, somewhere over there. 
I mean, down there, I can't really see, but we can literally see from our hotel room window a whole bunch of cars. It's, it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. The race car we saw. Yeah, it's crashed. The whole backside is was it? totally destroyed, yes. Oh. That, I don't know if you saw that on the trailer, but that car, the, the yellow one that was going around that Porsche, has just crashed. So, had a little bit of hail for a few minutes. Might be the reason. Whole back end smashed. That's for sure because the car was on a dry setup, and whenever it's there's a light drizzle, it's like ice skating here. You better have full rain than some light drizzle. The gates, a tiny parking spot, and around the corner. This is for me the the petrol station because they sell rocket fuel here. High octane, octane 102, and the other petrol station is 98, so this is the place for me. We've just arrived at where Carlo stores his two cars, which is probably what you guys have been waiting for. And uh, he has a Z4M coupe and a Z3 coupe, which is very cool. And there's some other cars here like that. There's a Ferrari. Testarossa underneath there. He's got the two coupes. It's awesome. And we are going to be hitting the track tonight, hopefully. The S54 that powers this beast. It's a beast. It's a screamer. <laughs> car I am <laughs> in Germany about to go on the Nürburgring very soon okay and we're live Nathan we are we are we are very alive <laughs> Let's hope that the uh, Manta Porsche crash didn't cause too much damage to the barrier so that we can go out on the track. First lap on the Nürburgring for myself with the amazing Carlo over here. Thank you so much. Glad to have you. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here. It's going down? Yes, absolutely. Uh, don't worry, we, we will take it slow. It just has rained so it's very slippery.
I will uh, the tire pressure. Then we go out for a full lap. Yeah. <laughs> just also quiet, just to get your stomach acquainted. Yeah, yeah. That you get familiarized with the corners and just the sheer speed and. Yeah, <laughs> it's it cool. You will keep that green for the whole week and I. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Wow. Um, I don't even know what to say. That we've only just done like half a warm up lap and uh, he's just slowly getting me used to the speeds that you go on the Norshcliffe. So, um, yeah, I probably said that completely wrong. I'm going to stick with the ring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> I've limited <her> already. the Nürburgring uh, after a few laps with Carlo he's just out taking one of his friends out now and I have to say it is amazing it started to get a little bit wet on the track so we had to slow down a little bit but this place is automotive heaven like I can't even describe the car park people are starting to to leave um, now but uh, before it was absolutely packed just full of everything you can think of like M3s and Ferraris and Porsches and it's just the sickest cars everywhere you look so I'm having the time of my life I don't know what else to say we're gonna get dinner soon and uh, ah, you've got to come here you've got to save up you've got to come here it's it's nuts the famous Nürburgring oh 
It is a beautiful day in Germany at the rink. Feeling good, Carlo? Yeah. Slept well. You don't snore, so. <laughs> That's such a sick MT2. Oh, that took me. <laughs> <laughs> I keep promising of showing you guys a bunch of this uh, car park. It's not fully full yet, but I'll show you later because the track's open, the sun is shining, so there's no point in standing around in a car park when you can be out there, right? So that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be awesome. Get some laps in this morning. This place is buzzing. It's in today the start of your real track day. Yep. <laughs> New Zealand day, have the steering wheel over here. That's right, I feel like I'm driving. You like to be in control? Yeah, I brought you something. Oh, great. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enjoy your day, mate. Well do. Same to you.
first couple of laps of the morning went fantastically the track is completely dry the sun is shining it's perfect weather so i thought i might as well take you around the car park the famous nurburgring car park and show you some of the cars here Shout out to Norby Films. You're the man, bro. Love your videos. Something that is very funny, um, which I'm experiencing for the first time, is driving on the left-hand side of the car and the right-hand side of the road. So this is the rental car that my family has rented out and um, my dad's actually in Carlo's car at the moment about to do his very first lap, which is very exciting. But I got that on camera. Stuff what I was saying. This is my dad. Hello. Hello. And he's about to have his first lap on the world famous Nürburgring in Carlo's car. Have fun. Yeah, we'll do. <laughs> Last time your father said, take care of my son, but oh, what are you going to say? <laughs> uh, just, just go fast. Oh, this is pretty good, eh? Yeah. Okay, Grant. Nice to have you. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, will do. Will be some experience, I can tell you that. <laughs>
okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. good. to have such nice yeah, weather. This over here is a S54 powered E36. And it is modified, has 410 horsepower. That's the coolest kit on the block. <laughs> that is also an S54 powered uh, Z4. He's got KW suspension. What else have you done to the car? Just <laughs> uh, some aero bits and uh, I updated the brakes to the extraterrestrial. Such a good looking engine. It's very it cool. Marvelous. It puts a smile on my face every time I see it. <laughs> so watch your fingers. Something I find incredible is that when you're driving along the track, there's a lot of people on the side of the track taking photos and videos. Some obviously amateur, um, like photography and video just for their own stuff, but there's a lot of people that are actually doing it and they're making a living out of it. There's people here that make a living out of videoing car crashes on the Nürburgring. Probably the biggest amount of cars that I've seen here, the most amount of cars is, is the M3s and the GT3s. They are everywhere and in New Zealand obviously if you live in New Zealand you'll know those are very rare cars but here it seems like the most popular option for your weekend warrior at the Nürburgring. There's a bit of rivalry here which is very exciting it makes it very exciting to watch and the quality of their cars are just incredible.
Not good. Not good. Sounds bad. A light popped up. It says EML. Quick Google search and it's um, Google saying that it's probably uh, an engine management or throttle body issue, but we're not too sure about that. Towing company will come and I will call up the help of my friends. They're the, the security guys, so we get back to you later. just arrived at Ring Speed Motorsport. There we go. Where we will be dropping off uh, Carlo's Z4M Coupe. Luckily, we do have another car to use. He has his Z3, so we'll be finishing off the day in that if this problem can't be fixed quickly. So, but we're gonna find out soon. There's a few cool cars around here though. So I might just show you a few. Another Z4. E46 M3, which is like the most popular car here <laughs> at the Nürburgring. And oh, what is this? Seriously, leaving a Ferrari outdoors? I mean, look at that. It's so dirty. How, how, how? I can't comprehend that in my mind. I, <laughs> I know there's probably no space, but outdoors? <laughs> Hello, my friends. Um arrived at Paolo's place, Ring Speed Motorsport. Paolo already knows that I'm having trouble, so he will be out in half an hour. And we will see what the problem is. Hopefully it will, won't be complicated. But with these engines, you never know. It can be very simple, but it can be very, very, very expensive. So, fingers crossed. Happy. In Holland we don't kiss men, but in Italy they do. <laughs> Paolo is Italian. I will kiss him. I will kiss him later. <laughs> it's just a simple thing. One tiny component, 15 euro component, can ruin your day. All it was was that coil pack right there. <laughs> Neighbors don't like you, eh? Still some excess, excess fuel in the system. The timing is a little bit off. So maybe on the high revs it was sounding a little bit rough. But yeah, yeah the misfire is now. I think the timing is off now. Some people aren't so lucky on the Nürburgring and uh, the Nürburgring actually has on average about 12 deaths per season. That's that's pretty crazy and a lot more crashes too. Um, this is one of the victims that we can see here. This person didn't die, but <laughs> the, um, the car went over like a, a crest, like a bump, went up like this and was like, apparently the GoPro footage is crazy inside the cabin you can just see sky it's just up like this and then when it landed it went goo, 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 all the way along the the track and it was doing like 200 kilometers an hour and so you can imagine that the driver <laughs> yeah let's just say <laughs> it's very lucky lucky to be alive change the coil pack which is good but uh, the car is still misfiring a little bit, so um, Paolo here is thinking that it could be a bad injector, so we can check that 
and hopefully we'll be back out on the track with the Z4. I'm not a smoker, nor do I condone smoking, but this is very cool. Lower control arm, looks like a BMW one too. On a strut. The brake disc, clear your cigarette butts. Very clever. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> yeah. We're back online and the car is too. Paolo delivered again. We found out that the problem was two unwilling Bosch spark plugs. So we're now having a quiet test drive in the nice area around here. So and see if everything is running smoothly. Here we are at uh, someone's shed and uh, engines, motors, wheels. This is cool. Wow, it's so wide. This is my hands to see how wide the car is. Wow. I'm like the 180 gun. <laughs> oh my word, it's so wide. That's amazing. The car is 182. That is absolutely awesome. Look it up on the internet. Gumpert Apollo. Yeah. Look it up. Gumpert Apollo. 57 made. 20 crashed already now. Gone. Uh, think about yeah. it. Yes. Very rare car. And my buddy drives it like he has stolen it. He doesn't drive slow. Carbon fiber everywhere. <laughs> Carbon fiber and suede. <laughs> it's, it's a road legal race yes. bad car. <laughs> Batman car. The bad case. It is so cool. Wow. Here they are, Ferraris, nobody's looking at them. Yeah. <laughs> yes, no. no. <laughs> this one, uh, V8 uh, 4.2 liter from uh, Audi. This is the 7 under. But uh, this winter we have uh, changed. I, I have changed some things. Also the um, program. The mm -hmm. deck now is around uh, um, around uh, 800 uh, horsepower. I was I was a that. passenger in that car, <laughs> so I had my Nathan moment there. <laughs> what 800 horsepower? The history of the Nürburgring is quite interesting. Um, it was built between 1925 and 1927, so it's really old. And it was built by about 25,000 people. That's a lot. <laughs> and the reason why it was built is because the Nürburgring is located in an area which is, well, it's like the countryside and there's a lot of very small towns and, and different things that are here. And, the people needed some way of generating income into their little towns and so they built this racetrack and well it's worked. The ring is about just under 21 kilometers long which is about 12.9 miles so it's quite big. <laughs> it's very big for a racetrack and it goes all around here and it seems like wherever you are in these little small towns or whatever around the track you can you can hear the cars just screaming. just had lunch and the track is actually closed at the moment due to an accident so while it's closed we thought we'd just do some general checks on the Z4 because we did hear a noise earlier and we weren't sure what it is. Carlo's having a look in the wheel arch it sounds like a plastic sort of rubbing sound or ticking sound so we reckon it's, it's okay Good to go. No bulging carcass. Oh, it's okay. No bulging. Yeah. No, it's 
We won't be going out in Z3 since we've got the Z4 all up and running again, but just so you know, it has an M52B28 in it, which is kind of cool. Um, and this is Carlo's token drift car, 100% for drifting. So on the wet days, you can take this out. On the dry days, you can take the Z4 out. We uh, got on the track, and <laughs> did half a lap, and then we're off again. And the track has been closed for, let me have a look at the time, flip. <laughs> Probably about three hours, three and a half hours. Um, so a three hour track closure and we've just been waiting around, eating and talking um, since. But that's okay, because they've just reopened the track. My dad's going on now uh, again with Carlo, which is awesome. He loved it yesterday. He came back again today um, for another round. It's madness here, it's awesome, and um, yeah, it's sad that we're coming to an end, almost. <laughs> Amazingly big thank you to Dutch Ring Racing or oh, Carlo you should have. himself. The pleasure was all mine. <laughs> Honestly, like a year ago, he commented on one of our videos and was like, "Hey, if you ever come to the Nurburgring, let me know and I'll give you a ride." And well, I came to the Nurburgring a year later. Yes. He kept to his word. Amazing guy, really funny, awesome to hang out with him this weekend and I've I've just learned so much and had so much fun. If you get the chance to come to the Nürburgring, do it. You see me blushing? <laughs> yeah. uh. Thank you so much Carlo. You're welcome. Thank you. You thank are you, quite a passenger. Rarely I see a passenger which holds can hold its lunch the way you do. It's like I threw everything on you. 
stomach wouldn't vouch, so <laughs> brilliant. I had the I had I was having the most fun of the two of us, I'm 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 sure. But oh, I, I can key. imagine why your jaw dropped so much. <laughs> <laughs> Some amazing cars here it's an amazing place anyway make sure you subscribe to his channel don't miss out he's putting out content like very regularly of him at the ring he's an amazing driver and um, yeah you definitely don't want to miss out on that so subscribe to that thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one peace out peace out Check out the oil! <laughs> <laughs>